Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Electronics Pedia. Have you ever wondered how the CDCs run at the SOC level or how the CDCs close at the SOC level? Because there will be multiple subsystems, hundreds of IPs and thousands of RTL files that will be integrated. Now, who is supposed to write the constraint for all of this? Whether the SOC is going to write the uh, you know, constraint for all of this or how if, what if the, there are you know, multiple like, you know, lacks of violations? How do we resolve all of this? Now let's understand each of these how the CDC is run at the SOC level and how do we resolve all of these at the SOC level. Before that if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you receive all the further updates. Let's get started. So before I proceed with the you know uh, uh, the CDC closure at the SOC level I would like to explain about the CDC methodology. So this is the CDC methodology. So, so see, what do you mean by CDC methodology? This is the regular practice, you know, when you are running the CDC at each level, whether it be, you know, IP level, subsystem level or at the SOC level. So, this is the usual, the, the method, you know, steps that will be uh, used. So, in order to run the CDC. So, now, first and foremost thing, what is required to run the CDC? We need the CDC tool. So, this is my CDC tool. Okay, this is a CDC. I would li I like to mention the spyglass tool. Okay, so this is the industrial standard tool. Many people, many you know companies they use. So this is a CDC spyglass tool. So this is a, a tool through which we will run the CDC. Now, what are the inputs to this block? Okay, now the first input to this is your RTL. So RTL will be an Okay, so uh, input to this CDC is spyglass tool. So what RTL, what do you mean by RTL? So you would have written the, you know, so you have your, assume you are developing some IP, okay. And you have some, uh, some PCI IP, Ethernet IP or anything, okay. So you are developing that. So you will have, you know, multiple uh, files in that uh, IP. So all of those, you know, RTL file list. So you should give it to the spy, CDC spyglass tool. And then the CDC spyglass tool will go and elaborate those things. So now, uh, second input to this CDC spyglass tool is the constraints. Okay, so this is my constraints. Okay, so what do you mean by constraint? Now, um, assume you have the RTL, so you have you have IP, and you will have some top level wrapper for this IP. Okay, RTL file. So that so you need to mention what are the I/O ports you need to constrain. So what are the I/O ports of those you know um, uh, top level uh, wrapper? So all of those needs to be constrained. Like you know what are the resets? What are the clocks? What are the input ports? And uh, 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 so usually we don't uh, you know write the constraint for the uh, output ports, uh, but we will however write for all the uh, input ports. And then uh, in the constraint file also you need to mention about the about the what are the internal constraints of the IP? So uh, suppose you have uh, some uh, you know MUX structure, okay, in the uh, you know some uh, within that I I IP, okay. So now you have this, okay. So there is an input A and there's an input B. So now uh, in order to analyze the CDC path for the you know here there is a logic that is being driven and here there is a this is coming from here, okay. So now uh, whether you are supposed to analyze the CDC path for this path or from here to here. So which one you should uh, you know analyze. So for this reason what we will do is we will in the CDC constraint so we will mention that whether the what is the select line of this um, uh, you know mux whether it is a 0 or it is a 1. So we will give such constraint uh, based upon that the CDC tool will analyze the path. So now so there is another concept so where you want to run you want to run both like with the zero path as well as a one path okay with uh, the you know select line as being zero and one so that is called a multimodal uh, you know uh, cdc runs so where it is going to analyze the multiple modes of the uh, you know um, uh, cdc so that is another concept so i'll explain that also in the future but let's uh, you know restrict our you know discussion to this uh, you know methodology so now this is the constraint that you will provide now what the cdc tool will do now it has the rtl and now also it is having the uh, you know constraints uh, given to this uh, cdc spyglass tool now it will go and elaborate this design and then it is uh, use it will use this constraints and then it uh, checks for the 
possible violations in the design like you know it could be some um, uh, missing synchronizers or it could be some missing uh, you know uh, some cdc false path violations or uh, like uh, you know multiple uh, violations it will uh, you know uh, there will be some set of rule set we will give to the spyglass tool so that will be like you know it will have some kind of a uh, rule set so it will check against all of these rule sets okay this is this can be uh, standard uh, you know uh, provided the standard rule sets provided by the uh, spyglass tool or we can have uh, some custom uh, rule sets also that can be given to the spyglass tool now it will check against all of these rule set uh, uh, with your design and then uh, what it does is it is uh, going to list out the possible errors okay so this is my all of the you know uh, it will list out all of the errors so now what you do is with these errors suppose you have you know by design okay you know by design that uh, some of these errors are okay to have because uh, your design takes care of these uh, you know uh, uh, you know issues and it is it, it makes sense like you know uh, to add a waiver for those things okay so now waiver means you know uh, kind of a suppressing that you know cdc errors so in that case what you do is you add a waivers so this is a waiver file so there is something called a waiver file we will create and that is a extension of the dot swl okay sometimes it's a dot awl extension file okay so now you create the waiver file now what happens is so next time when you run the cdc it takes the rtl it takes the uh, constraint file and also we will give this constraint as an input to the cdc spyglass tool now cdc what it will do so anyway it is going to report those errors but since it is uh, you know getting the waiver file uh, coming from this uh, you know, .swl file right so all of these waivers will be present here so for a possible violation now it will check those uh, uh, you know uh, presence of those uh, particular any uh, you know waiver is present or not and if that is present and then what it will do is it will suppress those errors so assume you have uh, some uh, you know some uh, unsync violations you had but you uh, you uh, saw that it is okay to have kind of thing so then what you did you added a waiver but now next time when the cdc is run so it is going to get those errors but it will not report because it has already seen that uh, waiver and then it will suppress that particular violation it will suppress okay it is going to suppress that uh, violations now now um, once uh, you do this, uh, you, we will be doing this multiple iterations, okay, we will be uh, either updating the constraint or maybe the RTL itself because if there is a bug or kind of thing, right, if, if it needs a fix and all, so we will update the RTL and then we will add the waiver, all of these things will be done uh, multiple times, like you know, it is an iterative process and then finally once it is kind of clean, what it will generate is, it will generate the output file which is nothing but a abstract model. It will generate an abstract model. Let me explain what is this abstract model. So, what is abstract model? Abstract model is an uh, output file from the uh, Spyglass tool, which is having the extension of .stdc. Okay. So, this is a stdc file. So, basically, it will have all the information about the behavior of your RTL in terms of the some uh, constraints. Okay. So, this is also kind of a constraint file, a constraint uh, output okay which is called abstract model it will have the all the port information about your rtl like you know what what are the uh, your ports right all of these input ports and output ports it will have the um, you know constraint uh, the uh, abstract uh, behavior of this your entire rtl is represented in the uh, stdc file so now uh, here we would have mentioned only the we would have considered the input uh, ports okay we would have mentioned the input ports but the spyglass tool what it does is you know it's going to analyze the paths i mean how the output port is driven by some whether it is driven by the combinator logic or it is driven by the you know some flop or is it synchronous to some particular clock a or a clock b like that you know it will have all of these information you now and uh, the, that will be dumped out in the abstract model so this is the abstract model that is a dot stdc now um, so this is the abstract model which will be uh, assume we, you are, you, we are running this uh, spyglass tool at the you know um, IP level and uh, what we will do is we will give this dot stdc file to the subsystem level where th where this IP will be integrated. So now at the subsystem also there also what we will do we will follow the similar similar approach. So there also in the subsystem we might have a uh, um, this RTL and uh, then we will have this uh, uh, you know rule set constraints and all. 
and then what we will do is we will uh, assume um, we are uh, uh, you know a subsystem team and then we what we'll do is if there are multiple ips that are coming to us we will take those ips okay here these are the ips multiple ips here there will be multiple ips so we will take those ips and we will integrate them in uh, our uh, environment cdc environment and then this is a dot stdc it's not directly rtl but we are not, we are not going to run it flat we can run it flat but if you are running it flat then it will be you know uh, the run time will be very huge and it will be difficult to analyze those parts because this is something which is a third byte ap you don't know what is the rtl how the behavior is assumed or, or on what assumption that it you know um, you know that uh, rtl was coded so you don't know all of those so you will uh, you have to rely on the this stdc files dot stdc files and then you will integrate so now this is ip2 this is ip1 so that you will integrate and then uh, you will run the this you will follow this CDC methodology again so now once it is done so you will deliver the dot stdc uh, and uh, uh, dot stdc that gets abstract model gets generated and you will give it to the soc so soc um, uh, soc will have a you know multiple uh, subsystems that will be integrated in the soc so let's understand uh, when we are trying to do this uh, you know you know including this abstract model at the SOS level what are the possible errors that we get how do we resolve them let's try to understand that with the help of us some example okay so this is uh, this will be very interesting okay closing the cdc it's a kind of a tedious process but it's a, a really interesting you'll get to know the design and uh, uh, also like you know you will try to get to know about the cdc also just it's not just running the tool but you will understand why that you know uh, how the why i mean how do we fix the rtl or how do we take care in the future all of these things will be cleared in this um, you know while if you are running the cdc so now uh, this is my soc okay soc assume this is my ip1 and this is my ip2 Okay, so there will be multiple IPs. I'm just taking uh, one or two examples. And then you have your custom RTL. So at the SOC, probably we will not have, but just I'm saying if it is there, uh, it's mostly the integration of the IPs only. But if there is any uh, kind of a custom RTL is there at the SOC, that will, I'm um, just uh, mentioning it over here. And then um, we will have the, this is, a, this is IP means it's a dot .stdc file, okay. So this is uh, nothing but the STDC abstract model given by the each of the IP or sorry, sorry maybe I'll just mention it as a subsystem 1, subsystem 2 and this is a subsystem 3. Okay, this is a STDC. So because in the SOC means uh, you will have multiple subsystem like you know uh, some peripherals like you know I2C or S2, uh, there is some you know, uh, uh, P PCI, Ethernet, and all of these are peripherals. Uh, some of them are categorized as high speed IOs and all. And then also you'll have some memory subsystem or uh, like DDR or maybe some CPU subsystem. All of those things will be you know uh, integrated in the SOC. Okay, so now this is the abstract model coming from each of the uh, subsystem and this is a custom RTL and this is my CDC tool. Okay, and also what you will have, we will have a you know kind of um, constraint. Okay, this is a constraint. This constraint is for the Okay, so this is my top level, okay, block, okay, so, uh, okay, so this is my RTL, right, so assume this is RTL, so I'll have some ports, right, coming to this, and uh, here, we will be uh, interacting with these multiple IPs also, right, so this is my inter interaction. Now, what happens is, assume, um, uh, we have, we have mentioned like, you know, uh, uh, this STDC is, uh, or the, abstract model coming from the subsystem one it is mentioning some output port as you know kind of a, uh, assume it is mentioning it as some uh, with a possible set case okay set case means it is uh, assuming that that the value of that particular signal or signal a as coming as zero okay this is coming as zero so that is the abstract model that is uh, coming from the subsystem one but while we are writing the our constraint okay we have assumed that this will be an output from the sub, uh, subsystem one but when it is coming as input we have assumed or we have constrained it as you know uh, instead of a equals to zero we are constrained it as a equals to one so we are assuming that the, it will be a one value so now what happens is this is a mismatch in the abstract okay so that means the abstract model delivered by the uh, you know subsystem is different and then what you have given at the your uh, you know at the soc level so with this we will see something called abstract validation errors abstract 
validation. Uh, so what we what do we mean by abstract validation? So abstract validation is nothing but the um, the validation. Uh, so at the abstract uh, model level, we are seeing the mismatches. So that's why it's called abstract validation errors. Uh, it could be for the data signal or it could be for the you know clock also. So uh, abstract validation for the clock mismatch or the abstract validation for the data path mismatch. All of those are the you know different validations. When when I say it's abstract validation with a you know uh, clock mismatch means. Uh, assume this signal is uh, you know whatever the clock is coming it's a uh, some data signal is coming but that is assumed to be uh, synchronous to some a clock but you are assuming it that is synchronous to, or asynchronous to assume that your signal is coming as asynchronous so, so then there is a mismatch okay so then also we'll see this abstract validation errors uh, this is one of the example uh, that is there and mostly like you know this is the only the case okay mostly that we will encounter at the SOC level like no abstract validation error so now how do we fix it so it is possible that your your assumption might be wrong okay so the I, the subsystem might be correct or the SOC might be correct so one of them has to you know update their constraint and then uh, resolve those errors but if the assumption is also wrong and in RTL also you have you know um, uh, with that assumption you have uh, uh, you know uh, implemented something else so then you may have to update your RTL also so that will uh, that can uh, so when if there is a feedback comes from the top level integration team or the SOC level so then you may have to update your constraints or it is possible that you may have to update your RTL itself so with the, this will be kind of a multiple uh, iterations here also with that um, then uh, we have to fix all of those errors and then finally we will have the one abstract model that generated that's a stdc this is a SA at the associate level so this will have all of the information about the top level io ports and internal you know logic whatever that is there so that it will have all of the information so this is how the cdc is closed at the soc level i hope this information is uh, useful and it is clear to you guys Please do let me know in the comment section if you have any queries, I'll be happy to help. Thank you.